Hello my dear crafters! You asked for this video so here it is. Some of you saw uh, my tutorial on how to make these beautiful little tiny books with the mini cinch and many 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 of you wrote to me and asked me please please make a comparison. I'm trying, I'm thinking about buying a cinch. I don't know the difference. So my main goal today for you is to understand the difference between the mini cinch and the regular size cinch. What are the holes, uh, the sizes of the holes? How many can you punch per inch? What kind of binding wires these do they use? How many pages do they punch at once? What are the pros and cons of each? Uh, what kind of models do they have out there? So I'm going to cover everything. My main idea here is not to like make a notebook with each. I'm going to show you how each one works, but I'm not going to make like a whole notebook with each one. You will know how they work and I think that's the main thing that you ask me. If I'm thinking about buying one, which one should I get? In which circumstances should I buy this one? So it depends on your needs, but that's what we're going to cover. We're going to talk about all of these. What are the advantages of each? What kind of holes do they punch? How many pages? So all of that will be covered in this video, okay? So first of all, let's start with the main thing, holes. What kind of holes do they punch? Because as you see here, although this is a regular size cinch, this is not the one if you type regular size cinch, like on Amazon or anywhere, on the We Are Memory Keepers website, this is not the one that you're going to see because this is kind of a, it's not a special, ed a special edition. It's just that this one punches square holes. The regular cinch, if you look for that, it's going to be white like this one here, white with, um, with this color, a green. It's going to punch round holes. But I don't want to just tell you. Let me go online and I'm going to walk you through all the types of cinches you can find out there in terms of, because that's really the only difference guys, is the kind of holes that they punch because they have discs, they have square holes like this. Both of these are square. The mini cinch only does square holes, but they just came up with a new one with cartridges. So you can do discs too in round holes. So let me just, since I don't have them all here, I will go online right now and I'll show you the different types. Then we'll come back here and I'm going to show you, not so show you, but tell you the main circumstances or your needs, depending on your needs, which one should you get? And I'm going to, of course, punch holes, show you what it looks like, the different, ki different kinds of notebooks you can make and how to use individually each one of these, okay? So let's just head online so that I can show you and, and be more of a complete tutorial or explanation on the holes, okay? And the types of cinches they have out there. I want to just show you the difference. As I told you, the, uh, the holes are different. If you buy the regular cinch, this one, let me just go there and I will find a picture that's good to show. Yeah, this one. So if you pay attention to this picture here and you go close, see down here and you can see on the right, it's maximized. These are round holes, but with the round holes, you can use the binding wire that we use with the square holes too, or you can just use those circular ones. So that's the regular cinch. And you have the Heidi Swap, which is the one that I'm going to show you on. If you pay attention to the picture right here, you see that they're square. And also, if you look at the box on the back, see here, they're square. And that's how you can tell which kind of holes they punch. But as I told you, the mini cinch, if you click on the mini cinch, the only option you have for this one, that's the older one, they just released a new one, as I told you before, you're going to have the square right here. You can see that it's square, okay? Let me see if they have the new one, just so I show you with the cartridge. Check, oh, here it is. So let me show you what it looks like, just so you see the difference here. You actually have the option of changing 
see here you can change the cartridge and this one would be it for disc that's the kind of hole it punches or this one for circle because if you want the square then you would have to buy the older version of the cinch it's not the older it's just an option right i think they realized that they needed to come up with these two because some people love the discs I've never worked with discs before. I only do the, I really like the square punch. But if you want, you have an option. So that's the mini cinch that comes with two discs. So now that you've seen this, let's go back to my tutorial and I'm going to show you how to use both. So now coming back to the cinches, now I believe I've answered all your questions in terms of the kind of holes that they punch. I'm going to start by talking about, to me, what is the main really difference between these two and something that you really need to take into consideration when you're thinking about buying a cinch. So for me, the main thing is the binding wires <clears throat> the sizes of binding wires that they can hold. So with the mini cinch, and that's to me the biggest disadvantage of the mini cinch, but it's not a huge problem because if you want to just make small notebooks, and I'll show you a few options here, examples, you would really only need this. You only buy a regular cinch if you're going to make a bigger one, and I'll show you that too. Why? Because the mini cinch only uses and holds a 0.625 or 5 eighths of an inch kind of binding wire, which is this one here. This is perfect. It, how many pages do you hold with that? That's the main question, right? <clears throat> Sorry about my, <clears throat> my throat, guys. It depends on the paper, of course, but if you're using print paper, I have made a little, let me show you this one here, for example, this little tiny notebook that I made with a mini cinch, and I'll have the, the link below for the tutorial on this. It, it is holding about 40 pages, 35, 40 pages, but it could, you could actually fit more. And that's print paper, okay? Just to give you an idea. But that's the main thing. With this mini cinch, you can you only use this wire here, which is the 5 eighths of an inch, okay? <clears throat> With the big one, the regular size, you can use so many sizes, it actually shows you here the sizes that you can use but just so you know it can go it can go from let me just see here from three eighths of an inch and i have one i'll show you half an inch five eighths which is this one that uses with the mini cinch three three quarters of an inch seven eighths one inch one and one eighth and one and a quarter of an inch. So you can you really, ha you can make little tiny, from little tiny books to big ones, okay? So let me just show you the difference, just so you know. This is the, um, this is the um, five eighths of an inch. This is the, uh, the, the inch. One inch is a full one inch binding wire and i also have here the three eighths of an inch it's a little tiny one look at the difference see so to me this is the main difference let me show you what they look like closed i'm gonna put it in my hand that's the three eighths of an inch so these are for like little little tiny things <laughs> this is the five eighths of an inch closed and this is the one eighth of an inch so let me just put them side by side because i really want this to answer all your questions that's what they look like and of course the larger it is the more pages you can fit okay so that's the main thing with the regular one you can have really a wide variety and options of of the of the binding wire which means a variety of number of pages does it matter in terms of size of course it does and that's the second thing I want to talk to you about. So the sizes. If you buy the mini cinch, they say it can make a notebook up to 12 inches. Yes, it can, but here's the thing. If you're going to make a big book like this, let me show you one that I made yesterday. 
and this is going to be uh, uh, I'll show you at the end we're going to make this one together with the regular cinch okay so this one is nine inches by six if you were to make this can you make it with with this little one yes you can but here's the thing you're going to I, I actually tried you're going to every single page or, or number of pages that you're going to to punch together you're going to have to do it three times do you want to do that if you're going to mass produce no you don't you don't want to be pr every time three times plus the number of pages or depends on the thickness like just to give you an idea this is a very very look at this very thick paper that's just one page right here very very thick paper I only punched twi two pages at once because they were so thick and I wanted it to be very clean cut so you don't want to do that you don't want to punch I don't know how many times so in this case you would buy this one of course you would because it again it's your needs but if you want and we're going to make this at the end okay so stay until the end because I'm going to show you how to work with the regular cinch but if you want to make something like this, like a small, this one is, let me show you, five by four. Five by four inches, this is perfect for the mini cinch. So it's really your need. I made this for Valentine's, loved it. I really love the mini cinch. I bought this first and I've used it so many times. And then I realized, you know what, I'm gonna buy this one because I want to I wanted to make something bigger too and of course this is another example I already showed you and it can also I made this one too I'll have the link for this tutorial okay so this is a tiny one I love to make miniature things so the mini cinch is perfect for this or this one this is kind of a uh, this was from a store here in Portland that I got and so you know I'm gonna turn this into a little notebook for for my bag I'm just gonna put this in my bag and I'm going to add elastic here so see if you're going to make something like this don't even look at this makes no sense you need this one okay so that's that's that so we've talked about holes we've talked about different sizes let me see what else i need to tell you here oh something about the binding wires when you go buy them something very important that i bought the wrong one once and i had to return it when you buy a binding wire for each for either one either the regular one or the mini cinch you have to buy a two the ratio is and you're going to see it like a two one two to one you're going to see that is it two to one or three to one and you go what what is that does that even mean so what it means is both of these they're two to one so it means that for every inch you're going to have two holes three to one of course would have three so this is very important when you buy when you buy the binding wires for both of them it's a ratio of two holes for every inch so two to one okay you're going to see that and uh, I don't want you to make the same mistake that I made so the number of pages we've we've talked about that how many holes do they punch so the regular sized cinch punches 12 holes at once and the mini cinch punches six that's why you have to punch so many times because it's little so six what does it look like it looks like this does it mean that you have to only punch six at a time not really if you look at my little one here you see that I have only four and I will show you how to do that right now I'm going to show you how to work with this quickly it's not going to be very detailed because I already have a video on that and I'll have the link below we're gonna go into more details here so let's punch something with a mini cinch <clears throat> again I'm not going to make a whole notebook but I want to quickly show you how it works so we have a paper here that we're going to punch here that's this is four inches so what you do is you're going to look here is it a whole number yes so we're going to place this little tiny thing here on A 
right right here on A because that's what it says if it's whole or half like four or four and a half five or five and a half that's where you place it the other ones it gives you the measurement so if it's one fourth like four and one fourth or one eighth or five eighths or all of these in inches then you would place it on B and C's for three eighths or seven eighths of an inch okay so it says it right here so I already placed it on here on A, we're going to get our paper and just the left side is going to go here. You press it, you just push it up all the way up. So what you're going to do is press. So you have six holes, but you still need one here, right? And this is how you do it. So you're going to remove. We don't need this anymore. You're going to put this aside. And what you do is, and it's the same thing you're going to see, the way it works is the same, this one and the regular, right? So you have this little thing here that you press down. So what you do is, you're going to count from the right to the left. The second hole, you are going to press that down so that it holds it in place. So let me show you what it looks like. So it's down, I pressed it down, so that's up, that's down. So it's holding it in place, so the, that's the main goal for that. So you hold it in place and now you're going to punch again and it's perfectly centered. See, you just actually added one more, actually you added two more. So six, eight, yeah, you added two more. So it's perfectly punched. That's the way you do it with a mini cinch. And then you come here, we're not gonna make the whole thing, but you would place the same thing with the regular. You're going to see me repeat this with the regular. That's why I don't want to do it twice. So you would place the paper here. Of course you would cut. In this case here we have eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not gonna cut it because I don't want to waste. So you would basically cut here, that's all you need, and then you would move it. This is where it binds right here. When you press it down, let me show you, it binds it, see? It closes that. Very good tip for you, and I give the same tip when I do. Let me get, I have two loose here, so I'm just going to show you how it works, okay? This has to be flush with this wall, otherwise it will not be round. So if you put it like this, it's not going to be round. If you put it like this, it's not going to be round. So it has to go flush with the wall, and then you are going to, I'm going to have to do magic here, so I'm going to hold it, and we're going to press it and I want to show you what it ha what happens okay look at that so it's closed see how perfectly round it is so it closed it there you are perfect so this is the mini cinch okay now I want to jump into the regular cinch and I'm going to show you how it works it's basically the same we're going to insert it gives you it tells you where to place it you're going to place this wire here and then you're going to to um, bind the wire, okay? The only difference is there is one more thing to do in the regular and because, and why is that? Because it actually takes different sizes of wires. So you have to, to tell the regular sized cinch which kind of wire you're using. So let's go there and I'll show you how to use the regular cinch and we're going to punch just the cover of this notebook here the back cover actually we're going to punch this and then I'll show you how to put it together okay so here we are the regular cinch I'm going to quickly uh, walk you through so the cinch has I'm going to open it up like this but I think I'm just gonna close it because it makes it harder for you to see so I told you that there is one difference right the difference is here because we have to tell the cinch which kind of wire we're going to use. So I'll show you that. But first of all, I want to show you and uh, talk about, I think the most marvelous thing about the regular cinch. What is that? Here, if you look here, you see all these pegs, that's what they call it, pegs. And you see the two of them, let me just, I think I need to open for you to see this. I have two of them pulled. 
because this is something that I want to show you. So you have all these pegs here and it's 12 of them. The mini cinch has six. This one, you can make a much bigger, of course, everything at just going to punch once and you have 12. But you can, and that's the marvelous thing about this machine, you can tell it, it's, no, I don't want 12, depending, you can also make small ones. So I'm going to show you with this paper here, which is four inches, right? If you put a four inch paper, here, you, you're not going to use all of these. So you have to pull one of them if it's smaller than 12. If it doesn't need 12, and I'll, I'll show you how to find that because it's right over here. Here, let me see my finger here. So you can actually pull these pegs and tell the mini cinch from this moment on, I don't need these punches, okay? So if this is this one is off, these will still go down, but it won't punch because you pulled this one. So let me show you what that looks like. You have here on the regular cinch, I'm gonna hold it so you can see. It tells you here which peg to pull depending on the size of the paper. So mine is four. So it tells me pull the peg number eight, which is this one here. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna go, uh, uh, go ahead and show you something even better than that. And that's what I love about the regular cinch. So if you have a four, and you pull the eight, you're gonna have something like this, right? I'm gonna show you both sides. But let's say, and this is a style of notebooks that you see out there. Let's say that you want something like this. You want, uh, this is a style, you see this out there all the time. I don't want a hole in the middle. You can actually pull another one, the hole, the, the bag in the middle, and it's just gonna do three and three with a space here. So it has more versatility. You can use it and make different types of notebooks. So you can, you could not do this. It would be much harder to do this with the mini cinch and depending on the size of the paper, it would be impossible. So. Let me show you how to do that. So regular, the regular size, this is four, right? So the way I'll do it, I already showed you, I'll pull this peg here, which is number eight, and I will just flush it here on the left side and punch. So this would be perfect, see? I don't need to punch anything else. It's perfectly uh, centered here. But let's say I wanna do what I just told you. So here's what I would do. So I'm gonna show you. The eight is already pulled because I don't want it to go further than that, but I would count one, two, three pegs and pull number four. I would have one, two, three here, one, two, three here. See, you can do that very easily with the regular cinch. So look at that. I have three, a space, and three. So this is the main, to me, the main advantage of, this, of the regular cinch. Basically what you have is this, if you have a bigger paper, and that's what we're going to do next. We're going to punch the big uh, notebook so for you to see, but I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, I'm just gonna make sure that this is pressed down so everything's working. This paper here is, let me see, I don't remember, I think it's nine, no, eight and a half. So this is eight, eight and a half, okay? So I'm going to have to actually press twice, to punch twice. So I'll do this, eight and a half. So I, I already have all these holes here, let me show you. All these holes, but I still need to add more. So the way you do that is, you just bring this ruler all the way to the left, and then you go here again. So eight and a half, you, I'm gonna have to pull the uh, number five peg. So I do that. I come here the same way that I did. Let me show you sideways here. Uh, you remember with the mini saint, same thing here. We're gonna count second hole to the left, and that's, it actually goes straight there. You don't really have to count because it's perfectly positioned there. So I pressed it down. I pulled the peg number five and there you are, perfectly punched. See, that's how you use it. And then 
like the mini cinch, you have the side here where you're going to place. I'm not showing you now because we're gonna move to making the notebook, okay? So now, let me just move here. Remember that I showed you the side of the, of the cinch? This is where you're going to place your binding wire, right? So I'm going to use a point 0.625 wire for this one. So, or they all also uh, call it, it can also be found if you're going to buy it, uh, 5 eighths of an inch. So this is where you're going to place it, right here. And then you're going to place the paper in this specific order here. So you're going to go forward. If you're looking at your book, so you're going to put the last pages going up. So what I'm going to do is start with the last pages plus the middle one. Oh, I didn't cut the wire. So let me show you how many holes do I have here? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have to cut this. So one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's the last one. So what you do is you come, so that's the 17th right here. So you're going to cut right here. See? 17, so you go to the next wide area here and you cut it. So that's all I need. I was going to have way too many. So I have the binding wire here. I'm gonna move this a little bit so you can see. So we're going to start with the, with the end. I think I'm gonna put like a few. Let's place it there. Now here, that's the middle right there. Let me just move. Now we're going to do, I think I have way too few pages now. I need, I need more pages because this is supposed to be like in the middle. So I need more pages. I'm gonna get maybe three more. This paper is so thick, you wouldn't believe guys. So three, three pieces of paper make a huge difference. So let me see if it's half and half. Pretty good, yeah. So here's the thing. So what you're going to do, you have the pages here, you know, coming, uh, coming up. So now we're going to put the cover because the back goes as a sandwich with the cover because then we're going to flip the back. So now you put the cover and here is the back. So the back is facing the cover, okay? So there you are. So we are ready for binding and pressing this down. So again, we're going to tell the machine. So if you look here, let me go close. Five eighths of an inch is right. This one is the third one from the left. So that's where I'm gonna go. So you press it down. There you go, five eighths of an inch. You have, this lever has to be up, okay? Otherwise you don't have the space necessary here. And here's a tip for you, because I hear some, sometimes people say, oh, it never, it never looks round. So you have to make sure that the top and the bottom of your, of your binding wire, they are flush with this wall here. So it can't be like this. If you press it like this, it's not gonna work. They both have to touch here, okay? So I'm gonna move this now that you know how I placed it. I'm just gonna move the cinch. Oh, this is a mess right now. <laughs> so okay, I'm going to make sure that both the bottom, I'm gonna press it down. And then I still have three here, so I'm gonna move it. Press it down. And gonna look. I like it to be a little bit closer, so I'm going to press a little more. Just gonna move it to the left a little bit. There you are. Perfect. So let me move this away because we are done with the cinch. I just want to show you. So this is, remember, 
this is the back and the way we do this is just move it all the way to the back to make sure that this part here stay on the back stays on the back and there you are we have our beautiful notebook and let me show you what it looks like i have some pockets here some ephemera and then inside as i showed you i have this like a divider page again with triple pockets and some ephemera i have another another pocket here with a tag and then the back with a little pocket here that she can use as well so that's how you use the regular cinch perfectly the binding is absolutely perfect and this yeah i think this is it for today so i hope that I have helped you decide whether or not you want a cinch and if you do want it, which one should you get, okay? So thank you so much and don't forget to watch my tutorial for the mini notebooks. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Bye-bye.